Viewer discretion is advised. Now, I have to talk about this because this is my favorite team and we have to talk about where the run ended for the Warriors. The Golden State Warriors have always been that uh, staple juggernaut over the past decade. You know what I'm saying? It's the Golden State Warriors and nobody else in the West, okay? Well, you, you could put the Rockets and you could put Spurs up there. But the other teams have not dominated like the Warriors have. Four titles in 10 years, I do believe. But the Warriors, their, their slow of dominance started last year because of the um, because of the inconsistency. Starting three and seven and basically losing all of their road games to start off the year. You know what I'm saying? And by the time I'm recording this, this year ain't no no easier either because it's showing um showing age P players are showing age meanwhile um the leader of the team wardell curry is basically carrying this squad it's looking like 2021 all over again it's wardell curry and nobody else okay you got chris paul yes you got dario sarge yes but clay and draymond they 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 they're showing their age you know what i'm saying they're showing that they get no they get no they get no but you can't expect Klay Thompson to have good games every single game, especially after um, two serious injuries that he had, the Achilles and then the torn ACL in reverse. You know what I'm saying? And those were tough times. Those were dark days. 2022 got out of the dark hole, but then there was right back down to hell because of um, the video you're seeing right now. The Jordan Paul Draymond Green um, um, fight. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a fight. It was just a punch. You know what I'm saying? Draymond walked up and uh, Jordan Paul Sheldon and then got, got knocked the shit out of him. He needs some milk! Lord. And things haven't been since... This thing hasn't been right since then. Draymond's going on a press tour over the offseason about... I, I just don't hit people. Making the situation a lot worse. And by the time I'm recording this, the Warriors play the Wizards next week. Right before their big game against Denver. You know what I'm saying? That's going to happen on Christmas Day. Now, Jordan Poole might get lucky because Draymond Green, he might be getting suspended because after that that uh, smack to the face to use some Nurkic last night, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be looking good. He might be getting suspended. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So Jordan Poole might be getting lucky, but Jordan Poole, you know what I'm saying? He's not getting off the hook either because of the turnovers and costing them big games. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm not going to go full ham on pool because it's the whole team, okay? After that loss to the Lakers, they have not recovered, sadly. They were 6-2 to start off this season. Looking like they were going to make a big push back to the mountaintop. But unfortunately, they've been showing, they've been showing flashes that they are washed. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. You know what I'm saying? They're showing age. Young guys and old guys don't mesh well. You saw it last year with Jordan Poole because Jordan Poole wanted to do what Jordan Poole wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Steve Curry had to get on him. Steph Curry had to get on him. Andre Godala had to get on him. It's like everybody is getting out on him. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants to do what he wants to do. Now that he has his own team, he's basically, you know what I'm saying, just... He wants to do what he wants to do. And look what that's got him now. Just only three wins. Like, they're right down there with the Detroit Pistons who have lost 20 in a row. You know what I'm saying? They play again tonight. I'm going to send um, prayers out to Commissioner Dynamo and all the Detroit Pistons fans in the Detroit area. You know what I'm saying? Because it's looking rough out here. And um, Lord have mercy. That game in Sacramento basically just hinted that, yeah. 
this team can't keep up no more. They, 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 that um, pool of um, youth basically is gone. Steph Hogg in the, the pool of youth, the youth water. You know what I'm saying? Like, Steph, share some of that youth water with uh, Dre, Clay, and the rest of the boys. And Wiggins, okay? Because Wiggins, you ain't getting off the uh, hook either. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been um, underperforming since you got your Big Max contract. And meanwhile, Steve Kerr has to figure out his rotations. Even though Steve Kerr, I rock with him. You know what I'm saying? I have to give some criticism to Steve Kerr and his um, rotations. Will the Warriors figure it out or will they fall apart right before the spring? Let me know. Stay tuned for the next episode.